You had that uh, big dunk. It was like you were taking out a lot of frustration after that. <laughs> How did that feel for you? It felt great. Um, you know, uh, Jamari gave me a perfect pass, and I just went up and dunked it. And uh, it was just awesome. That kind of you know gave us some more momentum, and you know it just kind of it was just definitely a, a monkey off my back. Jeff, how much did you guys use the crowd tonight? Like, did you sense they're on another level energy-wise? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, Fieldhouse was rocking tonight, and you know uh, we needed that. They had, they definitely helped us get, uh, you know, more pumped up. Even though we were, you know, ready for this game, uh, practice was tough. But you know, the Fieldhouse, there's nothing like it, that's for sure. And it definitely, uh, definitely helped us out tonight. Jeff, how huge was it with, with them being in foul trouble early on? How big was that for you guys to take advantage of that? It was huge. You know, we got, you know, all their bigs pretty much had two or three fouls pretty early, and. Uh, you know, that, that made it easier for us to, you know, get rebounds and, you know, we out rebounded them and that helped us eventually win the game, I think. But, um, you know, it was a pretty physical game still. And, um, you know, it, it was just, it was real big for us to get those fouls. Ben, besides being able to play at home, what was different about this team tonight in the last three games? What changed with you guys? Um, we play, I mean, we just played um, as a team tonight. Played Kansas basketball and we just went out there, you know, gave it all off and, you know, started on the defensive end. And we got stops, and we just created. So, you know, we just went out there and played Kansas ball. Now, so, dear, uh, uh, what was your approach regarding the recruiter, and uh, who did you guys in practice prepare for? Um, in practice, we already knew what we needed to do against him, and it wasn't just one person guarding him. You know, that's what we basically talked about the whole time in practice is everybody, because you know he's going to be curling screens and popping off. So we need everybody to be in tune. So. I felt like it wasn't just me guarding them, you know, everybody as a team did it together and I felt like that's why, you know, we got didn't he didn't play as well as he usually does. But he still made baskets, so Hey Ben, how much did your performance tonight with so many family members on hand? I mean, did that play a role in there? Did that impact how you performed? Um, you know, I was talking to coach, he was like just telling me, you know, just go out there and, and just play ball. You know, don't even got to impress him. You know, I just got to go out there and just play my game. And that's what I did tonight, you know. You know, help my teammates, you know. And the deal, you know, he helped me out with a lot of um, passes and, you know, made good shots. And, you know, we just came up the win, so it was great. Nadir, how were you able to push the pace offensively a little more tonight? You guys look like you are playing faster. Um, coach been getting on us about playing fast a lot. You know, he's just been telling us, go out there and just play. And I felt like, you know, a lot of times we really wasn't running any sets. We were just out there playing together and it was flowing. So, you know, with Ben making shots and everybody else making shots, you know, it made us look really good out there and it just helped us out. Darren, Ben, how do you feel like your your guards matched up against their guards, especially against <coughs> Rodriguez? Did it seem like his, his 17 points were kind of quiet 17 points? Um, I think as a team, we guarded him great. Um, you know, as coach was telling us, he's a second half player, and you know we were just going out there, try to you know limit his touches and shot selections, and you know that we try to do that as a team, and you know that's what we did. He had 17, but like you said, it probably was a quiet 17, but he still got up, you know, good shots, and you know he made he got up a lot of shots. So I mean, we just um, guard him as a team. Jeff, how did it feel to set a lot of shots back Uh, feels good, but um. You know, I'm not satisfied, obviously. I want to break the conference record. And, uh, you know, so I, it's cool, but uh, I guess it just hasn't hit me yet. Ben, was this a, a birthday wish come true? And how was it cool <laughs> just to have the fans singing and the, the video playing and all that? Um, I mean, it was great, you know, just coming back home um, to the um, Allen Fair House, especially just coming back, playing with my teammates. It's just great, you know, just be out there, just having fun with my teammates. And, you know, we just played Kansas basketball and just came out with the win, so it was great. Ben, did you feel like you were in the zone tonight? Um, I feel like my teammates definitely got me in the zone, um, especially in the dairy, you know, finding me on the wing, you know, just creating um, offensively and just getting me open. And just It was great, you know. Tonight was a great night for us. You know, last week was a bad week, and you know, just a new week for us. So, you know, it was great. Was there a certain point tonight where you knew that this was going to be kind of your game offensively? Um, you know, I was talking to Coach, um, Coach T. He was just telling me that you know, start on the defense and don't worry about you know, you know, trying to get offensive and you know, the offense is gonna come come to you. So that's all I was focused on, just mainly defense. Tell us how awful were the last. <coughs> 
week or whatever it's been since the Oklahoma State game, and people who wear blue and crimson question you guys, and people questioning the coach. What, what's this been like, and, and how nice is it to get them off the back for this kind of a win? Um, it feels great. Uh, last week, you know, it was a, it was a bad week for us. Um, you know, we, we can't let that ever happen again. Uh, but you know, true fans are going to back us up no matter what. And you know, we they showed us tonight. You know, the field house was packed and they got us going. And uh, you know, it, it last week is over. Um, we're going to learn from that. And we we all you know we met up so many times and we talked about you know what what happened last week and it's not going to happen again. And we're going to learn from it and get better from it and um, better now than you know in March where you're, it's over. So, uh, you know, that's over, though. New week, new beginning. Nadir, did you try to do anything different as a point guard tonight? Uh, not at all. I just basically just went out there and played and tried to grade my teammates. Um, you know, coach was just basically, you know, nagging me about getting in the lane and finding people. And, you know, Kevin was available a lot of times. So, you know, that was basically someone who I was finding a lot, as well as Ben. He was knocking down shots. So I just tried to do that as much as I can. You guys were out of first place. Out of first place for a couple of days after losing down to Oklahoma. Does it, does it feel like you're back? You know, as a first place team after this tough couple of games. Uh, you know, we're, we're definitely taking it slow. You know, um, I would say yeah. Right, we're, right now, we're tied for first, right? So, um, you know, we're definitely a first place team. We we see ourselves as you know one of the best teams in the nation, and that's not going to change. We lost three in a row, but you know. Um, we're going to spin that into a positive and, you know, learn from that, like I said, and um, eventually that's going to make us better than, you know, everybody else. Because when you get humbled like that, you know, every game matters more. All right, fellas. Thank you.